Hey guys, so today we're doing another Christmas wreath and today we're working with one of the flocked um, wreath forms which I absolutely love. I think it's my favorite and we're going to be using this sign that counts down how many days till Christmas and you just, hold on, put my hand on it, and you just turn this little side wheel and you can count down the days until Christmas and I found that at job lot it's a pretty heavy sign too and um, I'm going to be adding this little star with pine cones we've got a lantern and we've got a little squirrel in a winter hat <clears throat> And we've got letters to Santa mailbox and a train. And then I also have different greenery picks that I'll be using, possibly some poinsettias and berries. And I also have a bow that I made for it that I put a jingle bell in the middle of. I found these flocked um, wreath forms at Walmart. And the picks and berries are all from Dollar Tree and all the other um, ornaments came from Walmart. So what I'm going to do first is figure this sign out because it's pretty big and pretty heavy. So I'd like to get that situated and I'm hoping it'll fit right in the center. And it does perfectly. Well, that worked out well. And it has its own tie on it. And I'm going to wrap that and use that and tie it and twist it rather right with the branches from the wreath. And that's pretty steady. So that's a good thing. And now I'll decide where I'm going to place my bow because I'm going to work around all these big things. And then I'll place everything else around it. So I'm thinking I'll put it over here off to the side. That way you can still see the sign. And I'm just going to move these branches a little bit out of the way so I can put our bow right to the side. And I'm just going to work the wire down through the back. And get it off this branch. There we go. <clears throat> and I'll just wire this to the back up here. I don't want to pull it too hard and mash the bow. But I just want to make sure it's really secure. There we go. Just gonna wrap it around a few times, make sure it's on there well. Okay, so now we've got our bow, and I'm not gonna stress fluffing it because you guys know I will fluff and fluff and fluff. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to let the tails hang down to the side. And I love this bow. I love the snowman. And the person I'm making this for is such a sweetheart. She's actually a beekeeper. 
which I think is pretty cool. She does other things, but the fact that she's a beekeeper blows my mind because I'd be so afraid. She brings me honey, and it is the best honey, I swear, I've ever had in my life. Okay, so now we've got our sign and our bow. And I'll show you what that's looking like. Here I go, fluffy. Okay, so now we can start adding our little goodies. Figuring out where everything is going to go. So first things first, I love this lantern so much. I'm gonna kinda showcase that in the middle. It's so crazy because I still haven't decorated my tree. I haven't even fluffed it yet or done anything because I'm so busy with everything else. And at some point, I want to make myself a wreath <laughs> when I finish with everyone else's. I'm going to try to be mindful not to get the glue on the glass part, well, plastic part, because it'll, you'll be able to see it right through there. Okay, so we've added our lantern, and I'll probably add the greeneries last as villains. But where the sign went in the middle and fit so well, it pushed out the branches, so there really aren't too many sparse spots on there, to be honest. Okay, so now I'm going to add Santa's mailbox, which I think I'll place over here to the side. And it's nice because you can bend the branches right out of your way. I love working with these, and I think they're so pretty. Don't get me wrong. I like, you know, the mesh wreaths, too. They're definitely nice to look at also, but personally, my wreath that I make for myself will be on a flocked wreath form. All right, so we've got our mailbox to letters to Santa on. And now I'm going to add a star. And I think I'm going to put that right at the top. Where else would you put a star? Right, right at the top. So I'll put that there. It's really cute. Um, I don't know if you can see the detail, but it looks like uh, it's made out of like a birch tree. It has a little bow, little burlap little twine and berries. Really cute. So we'll place that at the top. This one won't be long. It's pretty quick. It took me longer to fluff the bow. So now I'm going to find a spot for a little squirrel who I think is adorable. I'm telling you guys, Walmart really really has some great ornaments. And I'm proud of myself because I've been staying out of the store and using what I got. But I figure after Christmas, when everybody has their little clearance sales, I'll go in and buy a bunch of stuff while it's really cheap and on sale for next year. Because I think I mentioned before, I'm going to make sure that I um, start making Christmas wreaths a little earlier so that it's not such a rush to make everything. Okay, so I used 
the little hanger on the train to put our train on. And now we just gotta find a little spot for a little squirrel to live. And I think I'm gonna set him. I'm gonna bend these down toward the sign so you can see him. I think I'm just gonna place him right here to the side so you can see his little puffy tail. This tail is really cute. And somehow, I've got to make two wreaths before I go to work. But I'm catching up to my orders, which is good. Finally. But every time I think I'm caught up, I get more orders. <laughs> Which I'm not complaining, guys. I'm really not. Just been extremely busy. That's all. Okay, now we can see his little scarf and his little face. So we've got him on there, and I think that's gorgeous. And I'm just going to add a couple of these red ornaments. Not many, just a few. shiny and one glitter one. Just, just for a little added dimension to the re. Really don't need them. Could leave them out, but I think it'll just add a little something something to it. So I'm going to put this one up here. Like I said, guys, this is going to be really quick. This one. Right over in here. Oh, I love this one. So cute. And then I'll put one under the bow. Then we'll just add a few greeneries in there. And we'll be finished. Sometimes it doesn't take a lot of time with these flocked wreaths. It's another thing I like about it. I can make something really beautiful. It doesn't take me hours and hours to cut mesh and curl mesh and ruffle mesh and all that you do with the mesh. All right, so now. I wanted to add a couple of these. Get my wire cutters. I'm just going to cut the bottom off. These are so hard to get off. All right. Let's add this baby in here. Sure, I got enough glue. And I'm just gonna add this over in here. There. Like so. I like that. And the little pine cone came off. So I'm just going to glue that right back on it. I cut the bottom and I cut, cut the little pine cone off. So we'll place that right back there. And 
Okay. And then I think I'm going to use this one. If I can get it off. Ugh. Oh, this came off in two pieces. That's even better. All right. I like the little berries and the pine cone. So what I think I'm going to do with this guy is add him right. I'm trying to jam it down in there. There. Add that right in there. And bend this where I want it. There we go. I wanted it to stick out but not cover the sign. And I'll take this one and add it carefully. here. And the little picks just give it a little dimension. That's all I'm using them for. Cut this. It's a little long. Ooh, that went flying. Stick this right down in here. Go in that little section. I'm gonna push these branches up against it. Pull that around. Mm, I don't like the way that's sitting. Hold on, I'm trying to get all the glue off my fingertip. I think. Oh, okay. Just had to open the branches up a little down the bottom. Huh, holds that there. I moved the glue a little bit on the ball, so I'm just going to make sure that's sticking to that. Sure you can still get in here and turn it. Yep. You can. There we go. That's better. Turn those up a little. This just doesn't want to stay there. It must not be meant to go there. Oh, I don't know how I can get it to stay. Alright, bear with me guys. Just gonna fix this. So if I put it sideways underneath, maybe I can get it. I want it to go there. It may not want me to put it there, but it's going there. There. Okay. Oops, sorry. I fixed that. Oops. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. All right. So we've got a little greenery over there. I think I'm just going to add one more to make it balanced to the other side. I know I mentioned before I hate this glue. I don't know. Where? I had somebody grab me glue sticks and they want to seem ungrateful because they went and got them, but they're not the usual ones I use and I am not a fan. It leaks everywhere and uh, there's way too many webs there. So that's just peeking out over there. 
And I think I will just add actually a couple of poinsettias. And then I think we might be pretty much finished. But I really like it. It's really pretty. It's really wintry. Just gonna add a little poinsettia blossom right there on top. That's cute. I might add one over here just to fill in this little spot. Perfect. See what I mean? Look at the webs. They're everywhere. And I just need to pull out these branches over here. There we go. I was wondering what was going on over there. And then maybe another over here. Fill in that little spot. And I think we're good to go. I was going to add berries, but you know what? I don't think it needs it. So I'm going to stop right there. I don't even need the rest of these picks. I think that's plenty. Don't want to overdo it. Alright guys. Let's see if I can get all these webs off of here. Turn it around. And I'll show you the end result. And there we have it. I think it's pretty. Hold on. Let me pull this up a little bit there. So you can see it a little bit. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Just want to make sure you can see the whole thing. So there's the bottom. There's all our goodies. I think it came out amazing, guys. I think she's going to love it. So please, please, please let me know your thoughts in the comments. And thanks for following. And I will see you with my next creation. Everybody have a great day.